YouTube, what is up with y'all, man? It's your boy, we're almost one, and I'm back at you with another video. And again, it's been a hot little minute, you feel me? But, um, yeah, so I, I'm just putting this right here, like in the beginning, as a disclaimer, because the last video, well, the video y'all about to see right now was filmed a hot little minute ago. And in that last video, I said on Tuesday, I was gonna do whatever I'm gonna do. But today's Monday, Tuesday is tomorrow, the next day, so yeah i'm gonna have another video for y'all uh talking about whatever but right now i'm in j monet car janice monet car i'm about to go get a chopped cheese or should i get a bacon egg and cheese or a blt with avocado i ain't gonna lie i'm jacking a chopped cheese with barbecue sauce so i'm about to go get a chopped cheese real quick but yeah feel me i promise i'm gonna get back on the upload tip i just been working bro like yo i've been working son like and it been taking so much of my time away. And I didn't even realize it been so long since I uploaded. And I feel like I said this the last video, but it really be like that. Yo, time be flying. And when you working and you come home, you just want to sleep and eat and feel me. But, hey, no excuses. We about to get back on the grind. And, um, yeah. So I'm about to go get this chopped cheese. And y'all about to watch this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All of that, feel me. And, yeah, we got a lot more content coming. So stay tuned. Love y'all. YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy Ramos One, and I'm back at you with another video for the first time in a hot little minute. But as you can see, we just started up the G. And there's a new light on the dash, the service engine soon light, which is so crazy to me and so surprising because in my two and a half years, however long of owning this car, I have never, ever, ever seen that light come on. I think I have an idea of what the problem has something to do with, but um, I do got my dad's old OBD scanner right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it up and I'm gonna see what it's talking about, but I'm going to talk to y'all about a, a little issue I just had the other night. So, not really an issue, but, yeah, it's an issue. So, um, me and my shorty, we went to go see the new Fast and Furious. He's on the way to the movies, feel me? And I had, like, a little over a quarter tank. Whatever. So, I was like, right, I know I got to get gas, but I was like, I'm going to prolong it till tomorrow, till after I get off work the next day. So, I go to the movies. I come back. By the time I get back to the crib... I got a quarter tank, like exactly a quarter tank. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I wake up the next morning to go to work like 3.30. I cut the car on and it says I got 16 miles to E. So I'm like, what the, yo, automatically off the rip, I'm like, nah, something's not right. I'm thinking like, okay, do we got something to do with my, um, my gas tank? Like, is my gauge incorrect or something? So I'm like, nah, I'm not jacking that. Cut the car, cut it back on. It's still like 16 miles to E. So I'm like, how I lose gas like that overnight? So whatever. I ain't have time to really like take care of nothing because I was already running a little bit late for work. So I go to work, come back. Ah, ah, ah. By the way, on the way to work, I went to zero miles to E. So I'm like, yo, like I'm really, I'm really pushing it. But I'm thinking like in my head, like something's not right. Like that can't be accurate because I just had a quarter tank. So after I got off work that day, started the car to go to the gas station. And I started the car, I saw the check engine light on with zero miles to east. So I'm like, okay, something's not right. I didn't get a chance to like use the OBD scanner and all of that yet. So we're going to do that right now. And we're going to see what the problem is. And yeah, this just sucks though. But I think I have an idea. Let's see if I'm right. I, I feel like it has something to do with a problem I had on my first car, which was the Explorer, because I they had the same issue, but we gonna see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. I forgot if the car gotta be on or in like the accessory mode. We gonna see. So we find that thing. You see that right there? If you go underneath, because in case like y'all don't know for some reason exactly where to find the plug-in like your OBD scan if you go to AutoZone to do it or if you don't have one. 
you just go right underneath like this stairwell or lot where you could barely see and you're gonna find this little white thing right there feel me and you just line it up and shove it in there that's what she said all right there we go it's in there so you come here obd scanner let's see what it's jacking um so you see right there it says enter the scan I'm gonna get an up to date one, y'all, so I can um, freaking get the actual thing on my phone. Uh, codes found one. So went down, read codes. Now I'm gonna hit enter. Catalyst system below threshold bank P0420. Catal uh, cats! I knew it. Cats. I had cat issues on my truck, so I knew it. I'm going to look that code up and see exactly what it's talking oh, about. Online, the internet is saying it could be a multitude of things. They're saying that it could be uh, either my cats are bad or my O2 sensors are bad. It could have something to do with spark plugs. I know for a fact it's not the spark plugs because I replaced the spark plugs uh, not too long ago. So I don't know what it is, bro. What sucks about it is the fact that, like, my service engine light is on, right? And I got to get my inspection. This week is due. My registration expired, and I, I already was riding around with expired registration for a little minute before I updated that, before I took care of that. But now the inspection is due, and now my service engine light is on. So I got to do something, feel me? So I could definitely just clear this code right now and then problems is gone i do think i forgot to show y'all this got a little neck pillow for me ordered this joint from timu this joint mad so i ain't gonna lie this joint is only like five dollars too and i also got a little for me a little air freshener a little john right there sitting on the on the wheel and then i got um oh a sticker i'm gonna show y'all a sticker Guys, look at how dirty she is. Oh, I was supposed to be showing y'all the sticker, but I forgot. This is a whole week later. The A got messed up. But yeah, not drunk avoiding potholes. Had to let people know, because I be swerving, man. Especially since I lowered it. But do y'all see how dirty it is, bro? It is so hard to keep a clean street parked car, man. Like. That bird's violated. Mind you, last week I paid 70 something dollars for a wash because I paid 70 something dollars for a wash because I um I got the interior detail as well. And on my drive home, this happened. And I just never cleaned it because it's been raining on and off. And it's just like I thought the rain would wash it off. And plus, plus my car has not moved um, ah, since then. But um, yeah, I ain't really have nothing to film because I ain't drive this car, bro. It's been parked up for the past few weeks. Um, Y'all see, check engine light is still on. So um, that's gonna get taken care of. So yeah, that's gonna get taken care of on Tuesday. And then from there, we lit, hopefully. Um, I'm also getting my oil changed and everything while it's there. It's at the Infinity dealer, so you know, the dealership. My inspection is expired, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but I have to get that issue fixed in order for me to pass inspection, so that's another reason why I haven't been driving the car around like that. Um, and it's crazy because I, I think I said this already, but that freaking light really came on and this issue started right before like the week of the inspection and i like to wait the last minute to get my car inspected so that the next year it could be like around the same time i don't like like going like a whole month or two early or whatever because i like getting inspected when i get inspected but um yeah so that's what we're dealing with right now uh other than that she's running fine uh, we're getting ready to go to the crib and then um yeah i don't know i guess i'll get up with you guys when something exciting happens hopefully before tuesday i don't know but uh yeah we're gonna see <laughs> 